best little soup and sandwich joint in town. <laughs> See, I had the curried squash soup. It was excellent. Every day she makes a fresh turkey. The turkey rice, it so sort of goes down very, very well. Not makes you too bloated, so that's what I like. <laughs> If you ever eat here, she's got a, got a great salad sample. Locals only this year. Uh, the name of the restaurant is Uptown Fair. They call it Carlene's Uptown Fair. only this year is because the last two years I've closed, literally closed, because I couldn't handle the crowds. It was overwhelming. As you know, everything is homemade here. I don't have people in the back making four or five sandwiches at a time. So everything is individually handmade. Today I had the curried squash soup. It was excellent. I did come yesterday. I had the best soup, barley soup with mushrooms. It is the best. I had the salad sampler and it was exquisite. It was really good. I mean, and she's got a, a beet, blue cheese on spinach with like a little vinaigrette dressing. It's to die for. It's a good deal. I realized that the locals have no place to go at lunchtime to to eat around here during the film fest because everything is closed up to the locals. Every restaurant, usually every bar in town, has been bought up by a private company and there's no way that you can get into a restaurant. I, think, I mean, I think if they did that year round, that'd be kind of obnoxious, but just to do that, you know, during, during Slam Dance and Sundance, I mean, I don't know, I suppose they're making a statement. I don't know what that would be exactly, but um, yeah, no, I, I think I think it's going, ultimately it's their establishment, so it's, they, they're free to do, do what they want. I would say, I would not say that was very good for business. <laughs> I would think you'd want all the people you could possibly get to come to a restaurant. Uh, what do I think? Unfortunately, I haven't been there, but um, I think it's nice that there's a place for locals only, especially when uh, you probably have half of LA, a storm in the city. It might be nice for the locals to have a place to escape. Yeah, this, this is the first year I've ever done this. I've ever said locals only. And we had to think of a way to enforce it, and Tony, who we've known for years, is a rugby player here in town. He comes back and forth from England all the time. Hello, my name's Tony. Um, I've been brought in this week to um, be the bouncer on the door for the locals only um, at Kylie's Uptown Fair. And Kylie mentioned um, a few weeks ago that um, she didn't want to close. So I, I offered to give her some help, literally to sort of stop all these Sundance people coming up here from California and New York and trying to sort of muscle their way inside. So that's what I'm here for. And um, anybody who's not a local, look out because you're not going to get in. <laughs> Have you ever had like a celebrity come to your door during the locals only um, hours? Uh, not yet. Oh yeah, yeah, we did have a, a star yesterday. And the reason she got in, it wasn't because she was a star, nobody recognized her. And uh, she, she was pregnant. I really got a kick out of the fact that she's only open to locals this year, and I actually heard her give these guys here a third degree about, you know, were they really locals or not. And, uh, you know, and I think it's great. Yeah, I, I do this not for myself because it's very stressful. I don't make that much money. I never have here, never will. And uh, so I don't need the money. It's not about the money. It's about the locals and, and giving them a place to come and have a cup of soup before they go back to work. <laughs>